Violinist Nadia Myaskov is a Swiss national living in London. As a soloist and chamber musician, she performs all over the world. She grew up in England, but spent many holidays with her mother's family in Switzerland. I had my sort of first violin when I was about three, which was a little plastic violin, which I sort of scraped away on. And then I started playing the piano when I was five. Did that for about a year, didn't enjoy it very much. Then I did ice skating for a year. <laughs> and then my father decided that I was going to be a violinist. <laughs> so that was when I was seven. So then I started having lessons with my father, who was a professor at the Royal Academy of Music. And I just, um, because my father was a violinist, my grandfather was a violinist who lived in the house with us. My uncle was a viola player who lived next door. I just thought that's what people did for a living, that they were string players. From the age of 10, Nadia performed with her father and teacher, Clarence Myerskov. Together they toured the Far East, Europe and England. I never felt tense um, when I was performing with him, but in a way that was difficult because then when I sort of stopped performing with him so much, when I went to study in the States and then when I formed my own trio, I'd not actually developed skills of kind of how comfortable I felt on stage on my own to a certain extent so that was then quite difficult it took me about four or five years I think to then become comfortable with performing he died when I was 33 so he died seven years ago and that in a way has been incredibly liberating because I then have been able to explore you know, how I feel about the violin, um, not in relation to him. But, um, but I do miss him enormously. Nadia has considered moving to Switzerland in the past, but since her mother and close cousins live in London, she decided to stay. When I first left college, I was actually offered a job in, um, in Switzerland um, with one of the orchestras. And I think you're so much more appreciated as a musician in Switzerland. I mean, I worked out that I would only have to be on a 50% position. So I could have done my chamber music still, played in the orchestra, and, um, and I still would have earned more than being a full-time orchestral player in this country. Although she didn't move to Switzerland, Nadia regularly performs in the country, mainly in the German-speaking part. And when she starts feeling homesick for the Alps, she finds her own little Switzerland just a few steps away from her apartment. I love the smell of the river, actually, because it reminds me of um, my holidays in Lucerne, the lake of Lucerne, where I just have my um, relatives still live there. So I have very fond memories of being there in the summer and just swimming for days and days in the lake, having great fun. So it's... I do like this spot. <laughs> 